Hello Internet, welcome back to Let's Make Asteroids VR. Uh, today we are going to be continuing up with our rope renderer, our grappling hook stuff. Uh, and you can see we have a lot of line renders in the scene already. Uh, and so what we're going to be do, or what we're going to be doing rather, is taking this, what we have right now, uh, which is here, this grapple rope controller. Uh, this was something that I kind of made and forgot to record, so now we're going to do this the right way. And we might want to fix this bug, because this shouldn't be here. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be updating this rope controller so that it renders the rope for the entire thing. And I think that'll be a relatively easy task. I don't see, foresee any crazy stuff. But I guess we'll we'll see what happens. Uh, so hopefully, everything just does what we expect it to, and this turns into a fairly simple project of just connecting a bunch of points, and then creating the line render and updating them, frame by frame. Uh, that may not be the case. Uh, so there may be a few other things that we need to do, but I'm anticipating it being fairly simple. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, as far as the defect that we have with this bullet going through, I'm imagining that I have incorrectly done my math. Uh, so this will be going back, This for, we're going to fix the bug first. And that's going back to like the initial implementation. I imagine it's just moving it forward every so often, and then doing a raycast and checking stuff. I'm guessing we're not snapping it if we hit something, we are just doing something else. So let's explore that. Uh, we have a projectile. Ah, yes, that is precisely what's happening. Okay. So, if we go, ah, losing myself. But if we go here, You'll see this is how our projectile moves. Uh, we did this, there's a link or something to the video somewhere in here. Uh, but anyway, the idea is it's going to move our projectile forward until it hits something and then it's going to destroy itself and parent itself to it. The issue is destroy doesn't exit the function and it also isn't going to be immediate. So what's going to happen is we're going to snap our point here, and then we're going to move again. And so depending on how fast you're moving, that's going to be different. And that's wrong. So what we can do is either stick this in an else, like I'm going to do, if it works quickly, or we can also do like some sort of return here. One or the other would work. I'm going to do an else, just because that makes the most sense to me. But either one either one would accomplish the same thing. They'd both prevent this from happening if we hit something. So what I should be able to do now is restart this and play it. And now we should get a perfect collision. And there we go. So even at high speeds, we're actually still getting a perfect collision. And that's that's ideal. That's what we want. So that defect is checked off our list. Now we need to look at this uh, grapple rope controller. And this is some this is what we were working with uh, yesterday, I guess. Uh, so this is a bunch of rigid bodies connected by configurable joints. What we want to do is feed in each of their transforms and render them. I think that's easy enough. So let's open this thing. I think this is just a really quick, yeah. All this is doing is just setting the position. So what we want to do is we want a series of transforms. So I'll just give it a transform array and we'll just call it points. And then all we need to do is set the line render dot 
points. Uh, number of line segments? I think that's not a setter. Is it? Hold on. I think this actually does work. So we should be able to do points dot length. And that should give us a point or a set our num points. I am rambling and that's all right, but whatever. So now that we have that in our update, uh, we just want to do a four. I'm actually, so this is technically going to be a four each, but we want to use a four because we want the index. So I'm going to iterate over all the points from zero to the points length. Uh, and that should be that. Then we want to do a line render dot set point on our index, which will be I and then the points I dot uh, the position in world space. And so this should be all we need to do it. I'm pretty sure this is all we need. And then if we allow this to go, should break everything. There we go. So now we've got points. I'm going to stick four in there. And then we just drag our rope origins into that. And now I could start this and actually see what happens, but I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to go back in here and attach a annotation. I think they're called attributes uh, and say execute in edit mode. And so what this is going to do is it is going to take our, well, I guess whatever it's called, it's going to take our script and actually edit, execute it while we're still in the editor, which is pretty handy because we get this. So now we are rendering a rope and it automatically will update even though we aren't, we're not running right now. So normally if we didn't have this script, nothing would update, but this way we can actually play around with it and it, it sort of works. So we can kind of see how things will look without having to keep running the, running everything. So if we want to do something like shrink the size and then grow it again, for example, we can do something like that. And you'll notice it's thinner in the center and and then gets wider again. I don't think we want any of that, but that's an option. I'm kind of just exploring these new things. We've got corner vertices, so I can make it rounded around the edges, which sounds interesting. I'm actually going to disable the mesh, re mesh render on everything but the two points. So we can kind of get a better idea of what it sort of looks like. And now, what else do we want to play around with? Uh, there's the texture mode. So we can tile something across it. I don't know what that means. I think we're going to need a different material to try that. Uh, that's probably not a good one. That'll work. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So tile appears to tile the t material along the length. It looks like it's based on distance. So it gets a little bit stretched around the corners, but that's kind of, I, I would kind of expect that to happen. But it seems like we could actually use that if we have, we should be able to use this with a rope texture of some kind, some sort of like steel cable or something. And then that should be able to take our point and just kind of send it down this. I'm going to keep it wide for now just because it's easier to see. Uh, end cap vertices. So we can make the end caps round. I don't think we need to worry too much about that, but it'll round off down here. Uh, we don't need that. So I'm going to turn that back off because otherwise we've got a bunch of extra vertices on this and we don't need those. The alignment can be changed to be 
local or view. So it will, if it's view, it will rotate towards you. If it's local, it won't. Uh, we can turn light probes on and off and reflection probes on and off. Uh, we aren't using either of those yet, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, motion vectors. I don't know what those are for. I believe they're for motion blur and temporal anti-aliasing, but we're not using either of those either. So I don't think that matters. Uh, but I think that that's about it. It's relatively, relatively simple. There's not much going on here. The only thing we needed to do was set up the positions and get that working. The only issue we're going to have is if I change this, we are going to get exceptions, I would imagine. Or not. Oh, no, we won't get exceptions until I do this again. Or, sorry, that. There we go. Index out of bounds exceptions are going to start happening because we only set the position when it when we initialize this. And that's part of the in editor stuff. Uh, so do we want to fix that? I part of me is like, yeah, we should fix this. But part of me, I don't really care. Uh, so the, the thing I'm struggling with is this really is never going to be seen in the editor. It's all going to be instantiated as you play the game and then deleted when we don't need it. So I don't even think we need to worry about that. It, yes, it it's broken now. And the only way to fix it is to start. And I can just show you what it looks like now that we've started. That's actually slightly wrong. It should be like that. So this is our rope now. It's kind of weird because I'm using a Pro Builder texture for it. And we're getting some weird artifacts going on. That's not what I would expect. But we do have this, and it does appear to work for the most part. So I think that works. And then if we undo this, our stuff should work again. I'll have to connect that again. It keeps resetting to. So I went down to three elements and then incremented back up to four. And the issue there is it just duplicates your last entry as the new one. Uh, so it's having rope origin two twice. Uh, so we fixed that and now I think we're good. And that's pretty much the basics of rope stuff. There's not much else to do. Super, super basic. I think we wrote all of like five, six lines of code, but that's cool. I mean, it, it, it does what we need and that's, that's all I care about. So hopefully this was interesting. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, uh, leave a comment below and let me, let me know. Uh, but until next time, we're actually going to be implementing this into our game and actually getting this to hold on to things and actually pull you around. That's when things are going to get interesting and that's when things are going to get fun. Uh, so that's going to happen this weekend. And hopefully my goal is to get a new build with this feature fully working out by the end of Sunday, which is going to be in like three days. So hopefully that's all, all good. And I hope, hope you guys enjoy it. But we're going to be working on this for the most part pretty, pretty thoroughly throughout the, throughout the weekend. So I will see you guys then. And I hope you guys enjoy this. So until then, see you, Internet.